The tree is producing wonderfully. And now we have our first bear's line starting to grow amongst the fall season. But we love making Meyer lemon uh, preserves. It's such a great crop, just littered with lemons everywhere. That's the beauty of Southern California. You can get lemons and it's such a productive crop. So if you can, you can start to use fruit protection bags on your lemons. And the cool thing about lemons is, same thing with limes, is they don't, they don't need a lot of sun to get that beautiful flavor. So the bags won't hinder the sweetness of the fruit. And with citrus, once it falls on the ground, bugs tend to get to it pretty quickly because they're pretty ripe, right? But if you harvest it, you can leave it on the counter and it actually becomes more sweet after you harvest. So you can do a bricks test to compare, but that's what the science says. And in the description of this video, I'll put some of the research that has been done on citrus and leaving it out to make it more ripe. It's kind of interesting. Cherimoya is pushing pretty hard right now, the growth from the rain. And these are tropical fruits. So we do have some fruit set on our seedling right here. And this is only a few years old, this cherimoya tree. And what we're gonna do is graft onto it. So this is uh, multiple trees in one one hole and then I intertwined it in between and lots of new growth. Whether it's a uh, self-pollinating variety, I'm not sure. This came from a seedling we purchased in Santa Barbara up in Goleta's Farmer's Market. So if you're up in Goleta or Santa Barbara area, make it your way up there because their Farmer's Market in Goleta by the Costco has wonderful varieties of cherimoyas, multiple varieties of cherimoyas. So I highly recommend you visit them. That's pretty much it, three minutes in.